Hey guys, we're back at Half Time Roomies, and today we have with us Parul Thakur. Hey. And so the French Open just concluded, and as expected, uh, the King of Clay, uh, Nadal, has won his 13th French Open and uh, 20th overall, uh, tying Roger Federer yep. uh, for 20 Grand Slams each. Yep. So Parul, you saw the match. Yeah. Uh, Thoughts on Nadal? I mean, it was an absolute domination, right? Absolute domination. One of the most straightforward victories. And uh, not surprised, but then I, I really was looking forward to Djokovic putting up a fight, which yeah. he didn't. So that was kind of a bit surprising for me. Apart from that, Nadal dominated in all areas. And I do feel that Djokovic kind of gave gave the match away with his own errors too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he had, uh, I think some, I mean, the last I remember, I think he had like some 30 plus unforced errors probably might have been jumped 40 by the time the match ended yeah. um <clears throat> again uh, a lot of double faults as well yeah true and, and uh, i mean the, his, his 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 serve wasn't up to par i mean he didn't have many aces in the game yeah nadal nadal dominated in that area as well yeah yeah overall i think the only the only point where uh djokovic was slightly better than nadal would be his drop shots but but then again yeah. You can't beat Nadal with court coverage, right? Yeah. So true. he covered all parts of the court, and mm -hmm. and he kind of returned back with the slice and drop shots too. So it was it was a very good performance by Nadal, but then a subpar performance by Djokovic. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Federer's thirty nine years old. Of yep. course, one of the greatest to have ever done it. Uh, mm -hmm. Nadal's thirty four. Yeah. Uh, Djokovic thirty three. Yeah. Uh, Nadal Federer at 20 and 17 Grand Slams for Djokovic. So where do you see this rivalry in the upcoming years where Federer will now kind of uh, probably not play a full season, maybe concentrate mm -hmm. more on grass, more yeah. on hard court. Uh, where do you see Djokovic and Nadal's rivalry and where do you see Djokovic catching up with these guys? Well, honestly, if, if you look at the whole scenario right now, the Nadal-Federer rivalry would fade away eventually. And, yeah. and the only problem right uh, the only problem here is Federer's age, to be honest. Yeah. Now, when uh, Djokovic comes into the frame, I think he's going to bounce back and win a couple of Grand Slams next year for sure, mm -hmm. because he had setbacks in the uh, he had this setback uh, in the final. He was not as good as in the U.S. Open too. Yeah. So yeah, I think he's going to come back with a victory in the Australian Open. Uh, that one Grand Slam where Nadal really struggles. Yeah. So. And if you if you look at the head-to-head -head record in terms of uh, matches played whenever they faced each other, Djokovic has Nadal's number. Mm -hmm. But then Nadal is bound to go ahead in terms of uh, Grand Slam counts uh, as compared to Federer, given that he has a minimum of four years, I would say. Yeah, three to, three to four years. Yeah. So even if you want to win like two or three Grand Slams yeah. in, in that period, he would surpass Federer for sure. So yeah, yeah, I mean, going on historical... Uh, the precedence that Nadal has set. It seems like if he's, if he's there for the next three seasons, he's bound to win those three Fen championships. Um, mm -hmm. He might even push in for... I mean, he... Uh, he might push in for Wimbledon. He, I mean, yeah, the, the Wimbledon and, and especially the US Open. I think Nadal yeah. loves the US Open as well. Uh, I think he has four titles yeah. um, at, at, at the Flushing Meadows. So it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel that Nadal would probably end up with the most Grand Slams of all time. True. Uh, my only, I mean, the only guy I see maybe creating uh, kind of, or, or catching up to these guys is, is is Djokovic at this point. Yeah, because if you if you look at the list of players that are coming up, they're only creating ripples. Nobody's, yeah. nobody's consistent to a point where you can say, oh, he might win two this year or mm -hmm. three this year, right? Yeah. Federer and Nadal have done that in the past, Djokovic yeah. too. So again, it's, it's between Djokovic and Nadal for the next four years, I'd say. Probably, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, with 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 uh, with their age uh, advancing into their mid thirties now, mm -hmm. uh, we don't we don't really have any young contenders. To be honest, there were so many guys who could have become or who had. I mean, people had expectations from exactly. them, exactly. But nobody really stepped up. I mean, Dominic Thiem uh, is one mm -hmm. guy who seems like he might uh, might be might be a big one for the future. But but as of now, it's it's just the big three. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's just ripples right now. Yeah. No, nothing nothing consistent. Nothing coming on too strong. I mm -hmm. don't really see somebody dominating the way these three are. Yeah. Done. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I mean, good game. Uh, as expected, Nadal won. Uh, we enjoyed the game. Oh yeah, definitely. It was it was a it was a morning game, early morning game for us. Yeah, the only the only thing I missed was the curl banana shot that never oh, came, yeah. man. Yeah, he, <laughs> it he, all went out. All of it went out. He tried it a few times. Yeah, yeah. didn't happen. But uh, I guess so. Uh, that does it for us. Yep. Good sure. game. Uh, short and sweet episode for you guys yeah congratulations to the king of clay yeah and uh, hopefully in 6 months he just might get his 14th title as well i hope so too yeah, yeah absolutely um yeah so uh we'll see you guys next time uh stay safe and uh, take care cheerio bye bye